What's going on guys? Welcome to another modern video here on YouTube or Twitch, wherever you may be watching on the internet. Modern video on the internet. I'm going to start this before we actually start playing the matches so we can look at some of these skills of Ravnica cards. Alright, so one card <clears throat> that made me real excited, and I forgot the name of it so now I have to find it. Is it this one? Oh, it's this bad boy. So here we go. Mission Briefing. Blue, blue. Two blues. It's like QQ. Uh, it's an instant, and you get to surveil two, which means you look at the top two cards, put them in your graveyard, or on the top of your library. So, Then choose an instant or sorcery card in your graveyard. You may cast that card this turn. If that card would be put into your graveyard this turn, exile instead. Isn't this just the card we've always wanted with Cryptic Command? Or not Cryptic Command, Cruel Ultimatum? Wait. Wait, it also works for Cryptic Command. Oh my god, this card's busted. This is just a Snapcaster Mage where you don't have to pay the extra mana. This is a two mana Torrential Gearhulk that doesn't have a body on it. <clears throat> Only it can hit sorceries. And you can do it on their turn if it's a sorcery. If you have a Cruel Ultimatum in your graveyard, you can play it on their turn. Am I reading this card right? Choose an instant or sorcery card in your graveyard. You may cast that card this turn. Oh, no. Oh, no. This card's much worse. Yeah, I thought the card was too good. I was like, oh my god, this card is friggin' busted. This card's unbelievable. <clears throat> yeah, I don't care about it anymore. I just wanted to play Cruel Ultimatum for two mana on turn like three or four. I, I, I thought that was too... I was like, this is too good. This is too good to be true. Oh, I'm so disappointed now. What does Windbrisk Heights say? Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, it does say without paying its mana cost. <sighs> My god, man. My god. That makes me so sad. Oh well. It's wor it's so bad when the when the card you're most excited about so far doesn't actually do the thing you want it to do. Gross. Anyway, Anyway, the deck we're playing today was submitted by Jake P, uh, patron and subscriber, all-around good dude. And that deck is Enduring Renewal. I know, I know, you guys are probably like, Frank, that card's 900 years old, what does that do? And I'll tell you what it does. It says, play with your hand revealed. It's an enchantment for four mana. Play with your hand revealed. If you would draw a card, reveal the top card of your library instead. If it's a creature card, put it into your graveyard. So you every time you draw a card, you reveal it. If it's a creature, it goes into the graveyard. That's too bad, so sad. Otherwise, put it otherwise draw it. Whenever a creature is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, however, put that dude in your hand. So here's what we do. We get an enduring renewal out. And we play a Blasting Station on three. Blasting Station is a three-mana artifact that says, Sacrifice a creature. It deals one damage to any target. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield, you may untap it. So we go Blasting Station, Enduring Renewal, and then ideally we have one of these four gentlemen out. But I think I might like Hangerback Walkers and Walking Ballistas better. And let me sacrifice it to the Blasting Station. Boop! It goes back to our hand. Thanks to Enduring Renewal. We replay it again. Boop. And we sacrifice it to the Blasting Station. Boop. And then the Blasting Station untaps. And then it goes back to the hand. And then it does this. It just does a circle. And we have Ancient Stirrings to get uh, things like Blasting Station or these Artifact Gentlemen. And uh, we have Idyllic Tutor to get Enduring Renewal. So. What sound does it make when it goes boop? It goes boop. And then you play it again. Boop. And then you sack it. Boop, and it does one of those jobbies. Um, however, other versions of this deck that I have seen in the past run Hangerback Walkers and Walking Blissless instead, 
which I think are probably correct. Actually, maybe not, because you still have to pay two to keep them in play. Yeah, you can't. You can't actually do the same thing. No enchantment removal. We have naturalize on the board. There's three naturalize. Yeah, it's not an infinite combo that way. That has that has just occurred to me, unfortunately. But deck looks sweet. It's very efficient, right? Like combo pieces are here, 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 and here. These are ramp spells, and these are all removals. So we got ramp, removal, combo. And then your mana base is just, just lands. You got lands. Sideboard, we got deck, deck in stone, worship, uh, ley line of sanctity like you do, wrath of God, and a nature's claim. Four nature's claim and three naturalize. <clears throat> Why no bridge from below? That's a good question. I'll get back to that. What's the point of combos? This is infinite. This is the most infinite combo you can get. But I agree with you. Enlightened Tutor? I agree. I'll also play an Enlightened Tutor. That gets all the combo pieces. It gets everything you want. I don't think there is an Enlightened Tutor corollary in, uh, in Modern. I think that's why we're stuck with Idyllic Tutor, unfortunately. And let's go to the constructed events. And let's hop right in. I <clears throat> I do worry about like the the thing is like if you get the right draw, this deck can go off on turn three. Like you just play uh ex one one mana mana dork on turn one, second turn. There's mystical tutor, but it costs five and is black. Wait, what is that? I think that's just called five and black? I think that's just called I mean Diabolic Tutor is four and that costs black, and that gets any card. <clears throat> can't pay for that level of insight you can and you are ha <laughs> ha got him no oh, this hand is something that's a great that's a great quick clip name unusual respectful almond sooner or later so we go okay, blasting hold station hold on alright um <sighs> Do I keep this? Oh god. It doesn't do anything, but like is a five hand gonna is a six card hand gonna be worse? Maybe. Who knows? One grinding station? What is that? There's too many stations. <clears throat> Sacrifice an artifact target player puts the top three cards of his library into his graveyard. Oh, so you're just gonna mill them? The problem is there are a good amount of decks in Modern that do run... Not a good amount, but there's some that run Eldrazi. Bye, 31012. Thank you so much for uh, for catching me live. Really appreciate it. I want to keep it. It's Modern, so we should... It's not like... We should have some turns, right? I don't know. What about the Tashi station for some power converters? Well, that's a good question. We're halfway there. We can also just put this guy on ice. Hmm. Can they kill us next turn? That is the question, isn't it? Well, now they don't have a dude, so get wrecked. Idyllic Tutor. So we need two extra cards now. We need uh, 
Everybody hates Infect. Apparently, we are attempted to get infected on. We are going to be we're we're trying to avoid being patient zero over here. I'll take two. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Here we go. Mutagenic growth. Ground swell. Swelling the ground. Triple mutagenic growth. Boop, boop, boop. I was gifted the best hand in Infect. There is one. Go to seven Poisonos. No, oh, an Ornithopter. All right, we're halfway there. Living on a prayer. Take my hand. We'll make it, I swear. We can actually play this now because we don't actually need more creatures. And it gives us infinite blockers, which is pretty neat. So, if you would draw a card, we only need to draw a Blasting Station. So this is actually pretty sweet. I wonder if they can actually beat this. Do any of the spells give Trample, do you know? Do you know? I don't think so. They're probably like, Enduring Renewal? Holy shit, I can't beat that. No, well they just passed. Living on a prayer, take my hand. I'd be more excited if there's any graveyard, not just your own. What does that mean? Let's thin out the old decorino. Are we doing it? Are we doing it against Infect? This is amazing. Oh, you coming at me? All right, I'll block. Yep. Oh, distortion strike, I see. Well, seems good. <sighs> of course we're playing against the distortion strike deck. Okay, all right. Worship seems good. Let's bring in a worship. Settle seems worse than, uh, say, like, Nature's Claim or Deccan Stone. Actually, Settle could be good. Yeah, we already have paths. Maybe we'll just leave the Settles in. Everything else is good. Like, I want all the other pieces. We already have paths for, for the lands. I'm not, like, too concerned with Nature's Claim as well. I would also probably err on the side of Naturalize, maybe? I don't even know. Well, this will do. This will do. Two, don't you harsh my Lazav buzz, Frank. T. Giuseppe Laporte. That's actually, that was my birth given name. All right, we're going, we're going for it. Like you do. I actually didn't hear it. I wonder if it went off. Did it go off? Did it pop up?
God, worship seems really good, right? I didn't hear it. So maybe that's my bad. Maybe I'm just a bad maybe I'm just a bad listener. Oh god. Are we dead? There's no way we can die. That which is dead can never die. Well, I have to assume they brought in their own, like, nature's claims and things, so... Living on a prayer... Oh my god, Sarah, this hyperbole you're throwing out here is pretty hilarious. Oh no, not my blasting station. I hope you activate the wrong one. You didn't. That's sad. We actually can't play this yet, can we? That's sad. I don't think we can even get this back yet. I guess we just have to sit here, right? Yeah, one Solemnity could be good. But like I said, if we got the Worship, they would have just killed it with Nature's Claim, so... Not ideal. With one mana, can they kill us? Probably not. Four, five, six, seven. I mean, if they even if they have two spells, we're still okay. Give me an Ornithopter or Memnite. Ugh, gross. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to scoop here. Maybe. I'll give it one more. I'll just keep... I'll, I mean, drawing doubles and eight double nature's claim against us is pretty freaking ridiculous. When we have four Memnites and four Ornithopters, we have not drawn a single one, so... That's pretty stupid. Roadkill, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. Ornithopter off the top. I don't care about that. Or that. Ornithopter. Ornithopter. Oh! We did it. That's pretty good. I guess we just have to hope we don't die to this. Which we might. Probably should have actually saved this for this turn. I think we blocked one turn too soon. Yeah. That was stupid. I think we're dead. Which is sad. Oh yeah, especially with them getting a land. Yep, we are 100% dead. Well, 
We had it. It was very close. The problem is these are our most two recent draws. So if we didn't actually sacrifice Horizon Canopy or block, we'd have two extra mana. That would be enough mana to cast the Blasting Station. However, we wouldn't have the Blasting Station in hand because we didn't draw the card. So we would have been one one card shy of that actually, that actually happening. I mean, if they can't kill us this turn, I think we win. I'm pretty sure they can. They have five cards in hand. If all of them are plus two, plus two, this is seven damage. <laughs> I don't imagine they have lands or creatures because they didn't play any before this turn. So, yep. Sure. Fun deck. Alright. I don't think there's any inherent problem with the deck yet. Like, there didn't seem to be any issues. I, I didn't see any issues. This should be fine. We have three guys to block early. Like, when the Infect deck has five cards in hand, you're just never safe. It's just never going to work out for you. It's got to be land, unfortunately. Oh, God. Two different Ornithopters. I make myself sick sometimes. Yeah, if it was an Ornithopter instead of a Memnite, that'd be significantly different. If we didn't block, I think it, I think not blocking would have been really the play to make. Okay, well, that's cool. <sighs> Modern's a hell of a drug. Yep. get you well we got to settle in case they want to go uh in case they want to go wide here i have my doubts oh uh, i start cube whenever the modern events over so probably around two hours later like for probably around four ish knight's whisper okay Urborg. Hey, now our horizon canopy is less painful for all the good that does. So they go rack, 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 and I'm like, oh, detention sphere, boys. Sure. Seems good. Uh, I did not create this deck, no. I rarely create decks. Sure. I mean, with Wrench Mind and Thoughtseize and Night's Whisper, I would, I would actually put this on 8 rack, but... Mm -hmm. Choose target player. No, I'm not casting it. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, we need two lands and we need a blasting station. I don't really foresee us winning this game. Unless our top decks are pretty amazing. Mm. 
There it is. It's your boy. Mama's little baby loves little Leona. Mama's little baby loves little Leona. It doesn't even make any sense. Did it, did it, did little Leona. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Oh, ensnaring bridge. Ha <laughs> ha. Joke's on you, man. Wrench mind. All right, looking for a blasting station. Midnight Reaper, let's see what that guy does. I'm a toker, I'm a smoker, I'm a Midnight Reaper. I play my music in the sun. I'm a midnight, I'm a reaper, I'm a midnight reaper, midnight reaping everyone, I, ooh, I don't even know who this dude is, how old is this card, what color is it, give me all the details, oh midnight reaper I found you, oh I think someone showed this to me yesterday, 3 mana, 3-2, three, whenever a non, -to oh Sarah actually showed me this, whenever a non-token creature you control dies, midnight reaper does one damage to you and you draw a card, alright you're infernal tutoring, sounds good. I guess I'll never see the card, so, because it's just Demonic Tutor. Top Deck Blasting Station. One time, let us out combo the combo deck. Come on. Come on. Come on. Really? This is weird. You can't even attack with it. That was a nice one. That was a solid strategy. Okay, that's not it. She's just going to make us discard this. Oh, I guess we can sack Horizon Canopy, though. That's pretty good. Let's do that. I think this is our last turn. We take nine. Oh god. That's not it. So close. Is it worth adding blue for trophy mate? I mean we have ancient stirrings, like which is pretty similar. Does Leyline work against this deck? Leyline's unbelievable against this deck, right? So is Worship. Is it light? How does let's let's look at the wording on the rack. Choose an opponent. Is that correct? They don't. Can they still choose us? I don't think that works. Okay, what about Shrieking Affliction? Well, don't just look up Affliction in Google. That's not going to work. Each opponent... Oh, God, neither of those? Oh, that's gross. Everix, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome, welcome back. Um, all right, so we can't shut those off, per se. Is it loss of life? They lose three life. And the, the rack does damage, right? 
Okay, so the rack we can avoid, shrieking affliction we cannot. But I guess we can just bring in nature's claims. Take out paths. Take out settle. Well, it stops all our discard spells, for sure, so. <sighs> Sand's very good. We don't have a way to get, we don't have any green, and we don't have a way to get uh, Enduring Renewal, so we're going to mulligan this hand. Turn on Noble Hierarch. We don't want Ancient Stirrings, because then they'll just take what, like, we have no side. We've just boarded in, like, eight cards, and we haven't drawn one of them in the last two hands. That's pretty comical. We boarded in four Ley Lines, three Nature's Claims, and one Worship, I believe. The problem is, if we lose at this hand, we just lose. So, if we go turn on Ancient Stirrings, and they just go, like, Raven's Cream or Thought sees us. Raven's Cream. <laughs> Raven's Crime. Well, we brought in Nature's Claim, not Naturalized, so it's the same thing, right? Oh my god, I can't believe you own a Hungry Howie shirt. That's pretty hilarious. All right, we'll keep it. We'll see what happens. Moon rat, that's gas. Oh, there's a chicken roll? At Hungry Hungry House has a chicken roll? What even is that? Well, that's something in it. Leyline of the Void. Wow. Welp. This is going well. Three lands. Seems good. And by good, I mean bad. I like, like, we were, the reason we played Horizon Canopy instead of waiting to see if we hit a land off of uh, Ancient Stirrings is because I just didn't think we hit a land. I was like, we have four Blasting Station, four Mammonite, four Ornithopter. The odds of us hitting a land is very slim. So, you know, that seems, that seems ridiculous. Detention Sphere one time. Memnite. Actually afraid to play this. Because we have to hit a Nature's Claim before it actually does anything. Why are just putting your graveyard from that? Yeah, so it does have to hit the graveyard. It's not a replacement ability. Alright, this is all fine. 
They seem to have a pretty low discard hand. I guess it doesn't matter. Like, this is always going to deal some points, so. Alright. They can no longer make us discard, I presume, unless they have land Liliana. We now have a lot of time. Ornithopter. <laughs> I think we can take the land, crack this, and then just play the land. Play the Razor Ridge Thicket. Listen to me breathe. Ha. Is that true? I don't know what that means. I feel like I've been talking quite a bit, and I don't. I don't feel like I breathe that loudly. Is that? A, I can't tell what's going on right now. I can breathe again. That's Chief Wiggum. Recording this is what they asked. Here comes Liliana. Here comes Flame. <laughs> Come on, dude. Really? <laughs> Come on. Oh, God. Just vomit us. Yep. Maybe we should have played one last turn. I think we should have played one last turn, because now if we draw a Blasting Station, which we're definitely going to do, then we could just win here. I don't understand how my life works like this. Oh, they also have Ley Lines, so I guess it doesn't really matter. That's a good point. Yeah, this is just an uphill battle. Like, this wasn't even really that... Yep. Alright, cool. Oh, hooray. Alright, so we're not doing great here, unfortunately. I hate when you have Blasting Station and Ancient Stirrings, which gets you the stupid... I don't think this hand's good enough. I definitely don't think this hand's good enough, but I'm not going to five either, so... I'll put this on the bottom. I don't think we need two. Wow, four lands. This is unbelievable. Like, there's 12 artifacts that we want to hit in the deck, and we don't hit any of them in, in multiple Ancient Stirrings? Like... Come on. That was okay. That was okay. <sighs> We're doing it. Come on, Memnite off the top. One little shitty artifact off the top. All we need is one little cutie to blast. All right, that's fine. It's 
It's gotta be always yes and always yield to these, right? Yes. Always yes and always... Well, maybe not always yield. I guess it's always yield. That's the wrong one. Oh, Gross. Well, we have two of them, so now we have time to dodge their discard as well, I guess. Oh my god. Actually, that's actually fine. Because we can just shoot the Gideon until they... We found it. Seems good. If only Gideon didn't plus one to do that, then we could actually uh, shoot him every other turn. We could also draw another blasting station. Well, that's literally the opposite of a blasting station. Oh, a detention sphere gets grabbed. However, we don't have a blue source. So we're going to take four. I mean, it's better than having it in the deck, I guess. Yeah, we have no real way to uh, to replay Ornithopter during an opponent's turn, unfortunately. That's a little outside of our range. And you can always go downtown. Do we just play in during renewal here? The problem is we need an, uh, a Bird of Paradise or a uh, Noble Hierarch to be able to cast Detention Sphere, which is one of our outs to Gideon. I don't think we have a reason to. It just doesn't do anything here. Why do they have six cards in their hand? What are they doing? No, there's no islands in the deck. There's only one detention sphere. There's only one blue card in the entire list. Which could probably be... Oh my fuck. Are you serious right now? Uh, which could probably be just an oblivion ring. Which fulfills the same purpose, but... Like, next time they just kill us, right? No, I guess we have Path. You okay, dude? <laughs> I mean, it was already a two-turn clock, so...
Wow, not a second blasting station. There are four blasting stations in the deck, right? Like there needs to be. Okay, well. Is there any other way to get an artifact? Grinding station costs... Well, hmm. Grinding station costs one less, which actually could be extremely relevant. It also doesn't get shut off by Gideon. Well, we have a combo. I guess we'll keep it. Unfortunately, Idyllic Tutor, they can just discard the Blasting Station, and then our Idyllic Tutor is just a third Enduring Renewal, which is pretty bad. I don't even know why we why would we play blasting station if we have grinding station in there like it's just a cheaper win con i could see adding four grinding and one blasting just so you have more but like i would it, i think one of the perks is having more than four of them i mean not in green white no, I don't think there's a better tutor in green white. I mean, there's Masterminds Acquisition, Di Diabolic Tutor, Dark Petition. There's a ton of stuff in black, but like. Sure. Yeah, War of Invention, also blue. Trophy Mage, also blue. I guess we're hoping the white deck doesn't have a way to deal with the blasting station. Fingers crossed. Yeah, we're definitely going to go with grinding station here. Stony silence. All right. Sure. Fascinating. That's disrespectful. Yeah, if we actually had, um, you need white for enduring, and ancient stirrings and ramp cards are pretty good. Genesis Chamber, how is that going to... Oh, I guess because you're making... Because you're playing a bunch of dudes. But then it's a three-card combo instead of a two-card combo. Then you need a whole another card, right? So, like... Actually, it's a four-card combo, then. You need Genesis Chamber, one of the stations, Enduring Renewal, and a creature, right? And, and this way, you don't need the Genesis Chamber. You can just win. Isn't just grinding station just better? Like there should 100% be a, um, there should be a way to uh, fetch out a, a blue land in the deck. Like that's just, that's just 
very simple. I don't like the settles in the main deck. I think they're just taking up space. I don't even like the paths in the main deck. Like, there's not a ton of things you want to deal with. Um, I'm going to take out two blasting stations, and we're going to go full-on grinding station. Right, it's not required, but it's just another card you're going to draw on your deck that doesn't do anything on its own, is my point. Is my point. I'd rather, if I'm going to take things out of, what am I taking out to put Genesis Chamber in the deck? Like, you can't just add cards to the deck, you also have to take things out. So, like, what am I taking out for a Genesis Chamber, is my question. Return target non-creature artifact. That's more or less for the battlefield. No. What's going on, McGimp? McGimp, tell me the story about this name. Tell me tell me the story about the McGimp name. How this came about. I want to know the origin story. Like, detention here, it feels like it should just be Oblivion Rings. Like, three Oblivion Rings, and then, like... Like, I do like Tutor is great for getting a bunch of, like, one of... It was a long time ago, there was a game called Asheron's Call. I had some of the terrible hero names in that game as I was still young and just starting my MMO career. Okay, okay. Let's look up and see if there are any tutor effects in modern. Search library artifact. White, green, modern. No cards found. Let's see if I remove, if I add enchantment, let's see what it finds. Nothing. Okay, so something's wrong. Search library enchantment. Okay, that should work. That's very strange. White and... Allow partial matches. Is that what I need to hit? After I played for a little while, I understood the game and would make a new hero. That would actually be good. Now this... Game, you couldn't change skill points once you committed. Oh, so you were like, you were, you were locked in. I chose a name that would make me seem like a weak player, as I limped, as I, as I liked to PvP. So I was thinking about names while eating McDonald's, and I thought maybe mix something would be cool because I was a dumb right. Okay, okay. If Plea for Guidance puts them into play, that'd be great. Plea for Guidance is six mana for a sorcery. Search library for up to two enchantment cards. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Okay. So it looks like the only enchantment tutor is Idyllic Tutor. So McGimp came to me. All right, well. Yeah, there is no artifact tutor and no enchantment tutor. Search library card. Let's see if that comes up with anything. Okay, well, mostly just lands. Let's say minus land. Hmm. I 
I've had people offer me money to change my Xbox, my name on Xboxes. They people want. Wow, the McGimp name is so popular. That people want your name. That's crazy. I don't think it would be crazy to make the mana base bant. I just don't know if it's necessary. Trophy Mage could be good, but it only hits Blasting Station. Like, Treasure Mage actually hits these guys, which is nice. I wish there was a card that hit both. Search your library for... Let's look, for, let's look up Artifact in blue. Fabricate. Fabricate seems good. Hmm. Like, we can take out the Ancient Stirrings if we hit Fabricates, right? Like... Like, Fabricate's just a better Ancient Stirrings. Enlightened Tutor is not in Modern, correct? Neither is Mystic Tutor or Worldly Tutor or... Are they only three? There's no black or red tutor? For... Vampiric Tutor. And this also gives us three extra slots. <laughs> Thirst for knowledge is value, so we're Tron lands and Mind Slayer. <laughs> oh man, sometimes it's so subtle that it gets me. I'm like, Thirst for knowledge? I don't think we need that. Oh, I see what you're doing. I get it now. It's just a little bit of a meme there. Yeah, triple blue is terrible. Uh, it's definitely not where we want to be. All right. Hollowed Fountain. I'm not a big fan of Horizon Canopies, I'm going to be honest. I just don't like them. Breeding Pool. We're going to get one island in here. Do you need green, though? I mean... The ramp is nice for green. I wonder if we could actually just play blue-white and play like Azorius Signets. I don't think Canopy is the best card in Modern. I think it's actually extremely overrated. But I think I'm actually alone in that opinion. So. Like if we got rid of these, we, we were actually just fine playing the green. Hmm. Or fine playing the, the blue-white, rather. Could we also play Mox Opal? Is this a Mox Opal deck yet? Let's get rid of the green. We'll play Disenchant in the sideboard. That's not how you spell that. What's the best artifact ramp in modern? It's got to be Signet, right? Like, I, I think Mindstone's good. What about three and three? Is Mox Opal a consideration here? Is Mindstone two words? Huh. I'd rather have Echoing Truth than Repeal. Or Echoing... Because it just bounces the problematic cards. It just deals with them pretty instantaneously. And also these O-rings can now be detention spheres pretty easily. B 
Let's go to forests. Breeding pool. Well, all the lands, really. Let's add more hollowed fountains. Sea Chrome Coast. Yeah, I was thinking Dark Steel Citadel and Mox Opals. I don't have opals anymore. Dang it. I don't know if I feel like getting opals. Now I just had Arc Band Ravager and Signal Pest. <laughs> I mean, this isn't an affinity deck by any means. Like, you go turn two grinding station, turn three idyllic tutor and doing real like it's pretty good. Inventor's Fair does seem good. I think we're probably gonna No, not this. I'm going to cut the citadels. I don't like citadels unless we have opals, and I don't think we need opals here. This is 17 lands. How many lands did we originally have? That's my question. Let's see if I can find out. Looks like 22 lands. So, two forests, two plains. Obviously, we want another island. We had four Razor Verge, four Windswept, four Temple. So, we have all those. Four Sea Chrome would be Razor Verge. I mean, they had three random Horizon Canopies. And we, we exchanged one of these for one of these. And Horizon Canopy... Uh, it doesn't really have that much of a corollary. I do like Karn. I could see two Karns in the deck. We do need three lands, so let me get three other cards. Now we have four Grinding Station, two Blasting Station, three Fabricates, which we can't play. My problem with Fabricate right now is that we can't play it on turn two. This man time walk deck for modern you might like. I'm sure you haven't seen it before. I bet I haven't. I wonder, Mike. You should definitely send that to me. I really. I feel like I would really be up my in my wheelhouse. Up my. It would be up my wheelhouse. I mean, Mox Opal could be the land we're missing. That would put us to 23 lands, and then we also don't have any Dark Steel Citadels right now. The interesting thing is our color requirements are not very high. We can also play more silver bullets when we have fabricate. Mox Amber seems pretty terrible. Tap it for nothing. Yeah, the joke, McGim's joke is that I just played it recently, and it's also the deck I lost to when he played me yesterday on stream. So I'm trying to figure out if War can fit in this deck. I don't think I hate War of Invention. What other good blue blue white lands are in modern? Uh, what am I missing? Colonnade, I don't care about. I really want it to come and play untapped.
All right, so I'm going to put some sideboard options here. I don't know if they're going to go in the main deck or in the sideboard. We got Chalice, Damping Sphere, Graph Digger's Cage. Maybe Bridge. I think I like that sideboard. I don't like Colonnade because it comes to play tapped and we're rarely going to be winning via Colonnades. I think we can actually add one more Vendor's Fair, one more of these, and then we can actually just add maybe Basics, maybe two Basics. I think that's fine. And we have two slots left. I don't like Mox Opal here. I don't think it's good. Like, we'd have to have two of these and, like, one of these, and it, then it doesn't even turn on until turn two. We have no artifact lands. I actually kind of like this, the way this is looking. Is it just two War of Invention, maybe? Like, even War for two is really what you want to do, and then you can just get Grinding Station if you have Enduring Renewal out. If we play War, I think we play one less Fabricate and one more Idyllic Tutor, just to make sure we can hit this or this. I don't hate Mirror Retriever. I don't hate the, the, the idea of Mirror Retriever. Yeah, I think we can take out one fabricate. I think three is a three is a, two is a lot. Two is good enough when we have four grinding station, two blasting station. Trophy mage only gets blasting station, and fabricate gets blasting station or ornithopter depending on what we need. I agree. Trouble loose seems kind of heavy. I agree with you. I'm gonna add one more idyllic tutor. Uh, you can loop Retrievers, but, like, it doesn't matter because it costs two mana. Like, it's still going to cost mana, right? Does Retriever put it in a player in your hand? Yeah, it puts it in your hand. So, like, you're still going to have to pay the two every single time. So that actually doesn't work. Burn, dick darn dick darn dick darn darn what is antiquities war let's see what you do With the top five cards you're an artifact card from among them put it in your hand put the rest in the bottom actually i like that a lot okay this is going to be the deck Oh yeah, this looks this looks nice. I'm a fan of what we're looking at right now. We have no reactive things whatsoever though, except for detention spheres. All right, this deck has changed considerably, but this is this is us putting the effort in. So here we go. Let's do it. Yeah, I'll keep this. Turn two, you turn three, antiquities wars if we want it. This can get Enduring, this can get the other ones. I'm game. I mean, like, there's a lot of things we have to put up put up with in Modern. There's a lot of uh, pushback. So, you know, the odds of... They're going to thought these Viscerous here, okay. Off an Underground River, no less. I'm fascinated. There was John Lennon, Paul McCartney news. Oof. Oof. Awkward. 
Not okay, man. Not okay. <laughs> Why is that coming out when Paul's like 75 years old? What's the news? Paul McCartney opens up about masturbation sessions with John Lennon and using prostitutes in the Beatles days. Q Emma Watson awkward gif. Oh, there was no new Tez in here. That's interesting. I didn't even think about new Tez. Boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, 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 boom. Actually, I think we should have idyllic tutored here. Maybe not, because we can go Hall of Fountain next time. We can go Grinding Station and idyllic tutor, which is pretty good. Tezzeret? Tezzeret is plus one draw card. No, it's plus one make a thopter. His zero ability is draw a card if you control three artifacts, draw two cards. If make imp, if that's what you're asking. Detention sphere one time. Oh, we can search for detention sphere. That's pretty gas. Okay, stop putting all my cards in my own revealed zone. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the Predator, but I like the old Predator, so hopefully it's good. I'm hoping it's good. Matthew, you have to let me know if it's good or not. We're going to play this guy, because I don't think the black-blue deck is going to have a way to deal with it. Look at all these pain lands. Look, we're at the same life totals. That's funny to me. Unfortunately, if we Detention Sphere, they can't actually sacrifice this. But, what can you do? I mean, we still get our thing back, so... Actually, if we draw one... One, two, three... No, we're a little, we're a little short here. If we draw, like, a Memnite... Inventor's Fair, eh? What card do we want back? Probably Antiquities War, because we want artifacts here. No, we want... Yeah, we want Antiquities War. Show me that smile again. Oh, oh! They you done messed up, eh, Aaron? You done messed up, eh, Aaron? Man, that viscerous here. Not doing enough work. He's not working hard enough. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. Yes, we get both. But if they sacrifice the one we targeted with viscerous here, then we'd get neither, or we get one. So, that's like one of the best uses of Viscerous here. This is why we put four uh, Idyllic Tutors in the deck. Alright, we're close. I can feel it. Get busy grinding. Oh, I guess we just play both of these next turn in, in preparation for uh, the robot army. One, two, three. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I'm on the electric lettuce. <laughs> oh, sorry, buddy. I I understand. I understand your 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 electric habits. You gotta get that voltage in you, if you know what I mean. Let's see if we can hit, um, actually 5, 10, 15, 20. Maybe we just play everything out here and not care about the Mind Stone. Yeah, great. Untap all the things. It's going to be always yes. I have no reason to ever not untap these. I'm just going to play everything out here. Look at all these triggies. All right, so next turn we should be able to kill them. That's my presumption. Unless they go like Mystic Gate or Wooded Bastion for double white and they then they settle the wreckage us. Or they can get rid of our Antiquities War. Okay, I think we're I think we're I think we got it. What is this? 1 2 3 4 5 6 Six artifacts, we need three. They're going to have three blockers, presuming uh, they're going to make one zombie. One zombone, which is uh, connected to the leg bone, in case you guys didn't know about the zombones. Okay. Wonder Twin Powers activate. It's going to be Enduring Renewal. It's not. All right. This is a hell of a drug. Look at this. Look, our, we comboed out. We kind of did combo out. Needless to say, I'm a much bigger fan of the deck now. Okay, so. I'm going to bring in the cage. I'm going to take out. The detention server is actually pretty good. I'm going to take out the Fabricate. I don't even know if we need Fabricate. We have six of these, plus we have Inventor's Fair, Antiquities War. I don't think Fabricate's even needed anymore, guys. Echoing Truth on some zombies seems good, too, so... Baby, I love you. Beep, 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 yeah. Now I have the Beatles stuck in my head. Did we win? Or were you too busy puff puff passing? That's too bad. I didn't even notice this was a Wrath of God on the sideboard. That's interesting. We can't search for that. Huh. Just one random Wrath. Eh. eh. Sand seems good. We can sing it on turn two. We got double tutors. Oh, also a Dillic Tutor can get Antiquities War, which helps us get the artifacts we need. That's pretty insane. I didn't even realize that. Are you going to do a thing? Okay, that's fine. Oh yeah, there's this street is notorious for ambulances. Ambul ambuli, if you will. Ambulancarios. Mm 
Maybe you can drive my car. Bear, 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 bear. Yes, I'm gonna be a star. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to play this guy. That was quick. That was a good draw. I guess we just go Antiquities War here. Don't do anything. Don't counter it. Oh my god, you have no soul. You are a soulless urchin. Uh, I never have my windows open. <laughs> It's Florida. We have air conditioning. <laughs> oh, good times. Pretty sure we just get Antiquities War here. God, Enduring Renewal seems good. One, two. Actually, we'll get Enduring Renewal. If we draw any other piece of the combo, we just win, right? And I actually want to cast this because it will gain us life. So. I mean, people love the Prescription Dregs anywhere, so. Here we go. So we have seven mana. If we draw a grinding, grinding station or blasting station, we just win the game. That's pretty cool. This is what it feels like when you just want to die. Lucky, 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 lucky. All right. All right. One. We could just make a 4-4 here, which is pretty cool. I'm going to reveal because I want we got combos to be comboing. What, what did they put over here? A Mem Knight. Okay. He, well, him scrying to the top is the same as him just drawing it, right? So it's still lucky. 
Like the the exact card he needed. The turn after I pl I I get an enduring renewal is the card he needed. So it's like, well, all right. Well, we're not out of the woods yet. Yikes. Probably going to be sacking Mindstone here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, we'd have plenty of... Oh, I see. Do you kill our Ornithopter? Kill that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we don't actually have the mana for it. That's sad. Four, five, six, seven. I mean, if I block here, we can save Karn and just get the Memnite. I think I'd rather just get the... That's fine. Karn can die. So close. I mean, if we find a way to kill this guy... Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're not dead. Can they get anything else here? Stinkweed, Amphisaurus here. Rex Sage. Oh God, Rex Sage. It's gonna be an enduring renewal. I just want to see. Okay, well, that's fine. We're just gonna go to the next game. I, I uh, was not really prepared for what this deck was. Yeah, probably now I want Disenchant. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna keep this hand. It's iffy, for sure. They don't seem to have much removal, so we can actually run this Ornithopter out there pretty early. I don't like spot removal because any situation where we're drawing spot removal, we're, we're likely drawing one fewer combo pieces because that's like one of the only things I can take the place of. So I'd honestly rather just draw the combo piece and try to win that turn. We have Dillic Tutor for Antiquities War, which doesn't work. Yeah, but I and I think Antiquities War and Idyllic Tutor is a great combination because it helps you get... It's almost like an Enlightened Tutor at that point where it like helps you get both. Sure. If you take this, we still have this. If you take one of these, we still have another. If you take this, we can still get another one, so... Seachrome Coast, Azorius Signet, any blue land, basically. Mindstone, not exactly what we're looking for here. Might crack it, try to get a blue land. Um,
block. I mean, we have the combo in hand, right? Like, actually, we could just play Blasting Station, and if they draw... If we draw a white source, we just win. Yeah, that was probably a misplay. I, I was thinking we needed more pieces, but we actually don't, so... Yep. Oh, one creature in the yard. I like it. Should have just played Blasting Station, then we're immune to it. That's so bad. Well, they don't have blue mana, so I'm not really too concerned with the gate right now. I mean, I guess we could play Antiquities Worm and find another one, but still, like, there's no reason not to play Blasting Station there and just try to win next turn if we hit any white source. Yeah, this deck is definitely difficult to pilot, so... sucks one turn behind all right so we hope we don't die here yeah, i'm pretty sure we don't but we might oh they could just discard a creature they could just sack all their things yeah not playing blasting station was a pretty big misplay however if they have any reclamation sage it's just Discarded another gate, so they still have two creatures. Three, four, five. Rex Age. We're pretty far behind here. Inventor's Fair. Not the not the artifact I would have targeted, but I appreciate not the not the target I would have targeted, but I'm okay with it. Let's top pick a land. Good one. So we can enduring renewal here. They can sack acidic slime, sack brain maggot, sad kite sail, freebooter. I'm just going to have to play this. If they sack these three and one more, I think it's actually sack their whole board, then search for a God Pharaoh's gift. The problem is putting the grinding station in your hand is rough because they just sack Kite Sail Freebooter. And then I guess they get, they, if they get it back, they actually have to go really deep. I don't know. This is this is matchup is really hard to predict what happens, unfortunately. It's not like you're playing Jund where you're like they have two cards in hand, it could be this or this. Like this is a matchup where they're looting, they're sacrificing, they're scrying. And at any moment they could have six cards in their in their bin to get back any number of guys that are very disruptive. They can kill things on the board and in your hand. So there's really no way to really play around everything they can do. If they tend to do, if they do nothing disruptive next turn, and we hit a land, we can go grinding station and during renewal, and maybe win with our combo for the first time. But uh, I don't foresee that happening. They have three creatures in the graveyard right now. Four creatures in the graveyard right now. Any creature in hand means they can sack one of these two. Discard the creature in hand. Get a God Pharaoh's Gift. Get an Acidic Slime. Yep, that's going to do it by itself. That's at least six creatures in the graveyard. Ah, <sighs> boy. So close. Yeah. 
One, two, three, four, five. Yep, they just sack the Stitcher Supplier to a Viscerous here. Actually, war might be the Antiquities War. Might, they might go after the Antiquities War. That would be great. They have to use two mana to get this. I mean, they could just have Negate in hand, too. They've, they've gone through a lot of cards, so. We could just be playing around. Uh, playing into a Negate. Actually, I mean, I doubt they go for... I would doubt they go for Ornithopter or Land here. I feel like Antiquities War is the more threatening card. Oh, no blue. No blue. I mean, it's got to be Acidic Slime. It's 4-4 four, four Acidic Slime is really good. Oh, they sacked their kite sail freebooter. Oh, that's so stupid. That's what I, that's the other thing I was afraid of. That they kite sail freebooter to get our grinding station and then we're just back in square one. That's really sad. Great. Yeah, we could find... I guess we could find one. But then we also have to hit... We have to hit land and... I don't know. It has to be a grinding station. I mean, and... No, it's not impossible, I guess. <gasps> oh, it's the wrong friggin' land. And we found literal nothing. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Block here, we take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... I mean, they just have another freebooter, right? So if we play Second War, like... We have to go block here, because they're going to have eight... We get, if we have to, if we block here, then we have no Ornithopter and we just die. So we have to have... We kind of have to have Enduring Renewal on the board. And then they just kill it, though, right? They just get Acidic Slime instead. They acidic slime kill this, we block, it dies. Yeah, we just can't win this game. There's no way we could win that game. Like saying we could win that game is completely at false. Like <laughs> if we play the second war, we have to let this die. Which means we need to top deck a grinding stone, a zero mana creature, and play enduring renewal all in the same turn. Because they're going to get an Acidic Slime and kill... It doesn't even matter, actually. We have to block because they'll have 8 power, 9, 10, 11 power. So we have to block one of the 4 guys. If we block one of the 1 guys, we take 8, 9, 10. We go to... We're at 9. If War found a replacement Thopter, like... If we don't have anything on board worth killing, then they just get Kite Sail Freebooter out of their graveyard to find out what we have in our hand. We would have Enduring Renewal, Enduring Renewal, and whatever this hit. This has to hit two things. It has to hit a Thopter, and it has to hit a Station. Two things. So if we find one of them on our turn, they Kite Sail Freebooter away. I mean, Grafdigger's Cage, finding Grafdigger's Cage might have been one of the, uh, one of the, the, the better outs there. Hmm. 
I actually don't like these lands. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really don't like Sea Chrome Coast. I think I'd rather have the Glacial Fortresses. Look, we have 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 lands that make them come into play untapped. Yeah, I didn't think Cage stopped it because Cage, I, I wasn't sure how that worked, to be honest with you. It's not the creature entering the battlefield, it's that you're making a token of that creature and exiling the creature. Why would we have Settle instead of just Wrath in the in the main deck? But previously, we had three Settles in the main deck. Why not just Wrath? I also think another Azorius Signet is probably better than one of the Mind Stones. Colored Man is pretty important. And it doesn't seem like it, but you, do, you want double blue and and green, or uh, and white. Double white and blue by the time you actually need it. Settle is one cheaper than Wrath of God? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they're both four mana. I mean, I also think one gives you a bunch of lands. I don't know. Settle could be greater than Wrath of God. I'm just, I'm not sure. Hmm... I could see taking the Fabricate out for another, like, Antiquities War and just remove these entirely. Maybe add another Blasting Station? Maybe we take the Echoing Truths out. Add another Disenchant. We'll add two Settles to the sideboard. Oh, you're talking about you're thinking of like standard wraths? Yeah, that's that's a common problem 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 among men men your age, I think. I don't know how old you are. That was just a joke. That's a that's a problem. I think this is our fifth round with this deck. I think we've just spent a hundred play points. Oh god. Mulligan. This has all technically all four enduring ideals. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Karn, huh? Yeah, that's a turn three Karn. That's pretty good, I think. It's good for standard. It's got to be good for modern, right? Bowmat Courier. Turn three Karn is the best play you can make in modern. Wow. Wow, triggered. I feel attacked. I'm just gonna get an island here. Because once we have basics, I don't think we need. I'm actually gonna play this Memnite. Maybe I block the Bomac Courier. Oh, actually, what if Talismans are better than Signets? Interesting. I wonder if Talismans are better than Signets. That was worth the potential demonetization for that.
Beautiful. War flashbacks incoming. <laughs> Maybe we just reveal here. Yeah, I'm just going to reveal. What are you giving me here? Detention sphere? You're probably giving me this inventor's fair, I bet. Yep, seems good. They have one land? Sure. Faithless looting. I imagine you're going to pick up a land here. Oh, it's the Modern Wizards deck. I see what's happening now. Does Karn take five? Go to one? No? Face, face, face. You don't even care about Karn. Holy smokes. You have no respect. So I have two cards in hand. We can play Blasting Station. Make a 3-3? Three, three? It seems fine. We block here. They have two mana. Even if they deal a 6, we can block here. We take 6, 7, 8, 9. We go to 1. We are not dead. Always yes and okay. Sure, we'll play the land this turn. <laughs> Gut shot is a strictly better lightning bolt if you target yourself. Wow. It's actually a good point. It is a zero mana lightning bolt when you target yourself. Unbelievable. Two of the damage can't even be prevented. That is amazing. You just blew my mind, sir. Wow, Fiery Temper? Get out of town, dude. What is even happening? Well, this feels ley line. Ley lineable. Going to the face, huh? Okay. Okay. I'm on to you. I'm on to your tricks. I mean, if they have a... Like, if their last card is, like, Wizard's Lightning, we're dead. If their last card is Lightning Bolt, we're dead. So. I mean, we could block here, but... It seems bad. Oh, alright. We're just going to three. I guess we survive.
Not dead. Intriguing. Yep, hollow fountain is into the hand. I'm not liking I'm not liking this car just because of this uh the fact that it doesn't get what we want. I think we just want mono antiquities wars in the deck. So they're going to draw like four cards. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're dead. I mean, I can't imagine we're not dead. Talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Well, technically they draw five. Because they like they likely wait until... Yeah, we're just going to scoop. Okay. Seems good. Now they can bring in all their smash to smithereens. Hey, look. Damping sphere. No. Disenchant. No. Uh, Worship seems pretty nuts. Ley lines also seem pretty good. I'm going to take out the Karns. Take out the Detention Spheres. Chalice on one seems pretty good. Alright. Let's do it. Ugh. Yes. Oh, keep. Snap keep as, we, as you do. Any one land in this hand is beautiful. It's beautiful, it's true. I saw your hand with a ley line in it. And I didn't know what to do. Na 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 na. This is a little James Blunt. Probably a uh, favorite artist of Smoking Dope 420. Another Blunt reference. Because of doobies. Doobie, doobie, doo. All right, so if we hit a land, we can go Azorius Signet into Grinding Station, or we can just play Antiquities War, which is pretty good. Look at these little cuties. Just scooting along. Are we going to do it? Are we doing it? Whenever an artifact triggers itself? Ooh. It cannot be cutie if dead. Did I say that? Oh my god. Are we going to do it? Guys, I want to do it. Can we do it? We're doing it. Game ended. We just comboed, boys. Barring some unforeseen circumstances.
You see what's happening. He's reading all the cards. Hold on. Let me see what this does. All right. Got him. You're dead. <laughs> Twang. Oh, man. This is not as satisfying as I thought it Wow, really? I was totally satisfied by that. That felt great. That was all I ever wanted to do. How does this deck beat a warship? If we go turn turn two idyllic turn three idyllic tutor into warship. Yeah, one land's not gonna do it. Oh, keeps, keeps, oh peeps. Um, sure, I'll keep this. Pop you down. Chalice on one. Get him. Bomac cutie every game. All right, you got it. And I assume they're just going to have uh, Smash to Smithereens for our Chalice, which is going to be sad, but... I mean, that's magic for you, right? We just got to... We just got to deal with it. If we, were on, if we were on the play this game, it'd be a lot better. Especially because they just dropped three cards, but... Then they'd only have Bomat Courier in play. But now their clock is substantially larger. Especially because they can still cast their their one mana spells to trigger prowess. Hopefully they don't know that. But we should have some time. And we don't have any one mana cards in this deck, so that's pretty good. I do like Chalice on one. Smash to smithereens. Take five. Flame of Keld. Discard your hand. Okay. I'll allow it. Two lava runners. All right, so you just discarded two blanks. That's pretty cool. Might as well just run Memnite out here. All right, so another Flame of Keld. <laughs> Dropping the whole hand. I guess they had three cards. They played Mountain, Flame of Keld, and then discard the last Mountain. That seems fine. Just gonna enduring renewal here. We don't need to draw any more creatures, and uh, the Memnite's pretty much immortal. Five hundred for two months front, not great. 
Uh, I imagine 150 of these are going to leave, so... Yeah, anyone who was gifted a sub in the past two weeks or so, uh, it only costs $1 to renew it for September. So if you are a fan of the stream, if you, got, you were gifted a sub, if you guys are watching now, if you want to renew your sub, it's only a dollar, which is pretty sick. So uh, just something to keep in mind. It's literally the smallest amount you can spend to support some content. I mean, I guess theoretically you could spend like 10 cents on bits or something, but. I have no incentive not to block here. Sure. One content support bug. Steven C, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. <laughs> and uh, Memonite lives. Sure. Yep. Make a guy that gets countered. Sure. I probably should have waited to play the land because if we hit, I guess we can't hit an inventor's, inventor's fair. So well, that was pretty brutal. I guess we can actually play that. That's actually not that bad. All right. If we hit, if we hit any station off of Antiquities War, um, which would be, 10 deep, 11 deep, because we looked at 5, looked at 5, drew a card. So 11 cards. Uh, if we survive this turn, they can play Fiery ma fiery Temper. Shoot our face for 5. Put us to 2. We block, block. And this deals 3. That we actually bit. If they have Fiery Temper in hand, we're probably dead. Yeah, we're definitely dead. They just needed this one guy. The card's really strong. Yep, pay your costs. Yep, that's all they needed. That's interesting. This deals five to the face. We're still dead. Yep, exactly dead. Fantastic. <sighs> One turn away. Yep, take seven. Oh, well, they can't target us. Yeah, sure. Doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five. And draw for the turn. Yeah, we actually wouldn't have hit it anyway. Actually, we'd hit Worship, though. It would have been pretty insane. But I guess I could just kill our creatures at that point. So, what can you do? Uh, I wouldn't... Actually, I want one more Antiquities War in the deck. And... I don't like Azorius Signet because you can't really... S I guess it doesn't matter. Like I was going to say with, um, if you play on turn two, you also can't use it for mana, but we already established there's no one mana spells in the deck. So you wouldn't want to use it if you only have two lands anyway. However, if you have three lands and you play a Signet, you can still get two mana out of the Signet. The same way you can get it out of a Mind Stone or a Talisman. So I think that's actually fine. I 
wonder if we just want path. We don't want path over detention sphere. I don't think wall of denials. Mm, that's I mean that's just worse than like detention sphere, right? I do like one five mana Tesseret. Like it's just it's just another combo piece, right? Azorius Charm puts an attacking creature on the top or bottom of someone's library. It lets you draw a card or it lets you gain lifelink for all your guys that turn. So. There's just no point to splash black for the other Tezzeret. Like, this guy does everything we want it to do. Like, we just get either one of the stones. I think this is where I'm going to leave the deck. I think this is actually pretty okay. So, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Like, the deck seems like it's missing something. But I still thought it was okay. Like, I feel like this version's probably better than the green-white version. It has a lot more play. Uh, it gives you a lot more things to do. I think the one of Warship is nice, especially if we could have found an Idyllic Tutor to search for it. Because we basically had five Warships in that matchup against the, the red deck, and we just couldn't find a single one. Um, I don't really... Like, Solemnity is only good against Infect, right? Like, it doesn't really do much otherwise. And I don't think Infect is super popular. I could see it as a one of because, um, you know, you just, it's, it's easy to tutor for, but, um, I could see it as a one of taking one disenchant out for a solemnity, but is Baird good? Not really. I mean, it's four mana. Like I don't want a four mana creature in the deck randomly. That seems weird. I'd rather just have ghostly prison, which we can, again, which fits the theme and we can search for it with idyllic tutor. So. Um, either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this critique. Um, if you guys are interested in having me take a look at your own deck, running through some matches, having this entire discussion, and uh, watching the progress from, from beginning to end, check my Twitch profile or my uh, Patreon page. They're both linked in the description below. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Really appreciate the support.